Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Deepa from Designs by D and I welcome you to the August 2023 release video hop by Altenew. So today I have some zesty fun to share with you and um, as always Altenew is giving away $300 in prizes so don't forget to comment down below for your chance to win and if you have a chance please do consider subscribing to myself and all of the other great designers on this hop. So let's take a look at the products that we're going to be using. So today I'm going to be using the set of products. I have the citrus fruity, um, there's a citrus fruits pattern stencils here. So there's four stencils in this layering stencil set. There's also those new enamel dots. And then I've got the zesty life ensemble or a bundle, which is the, um, the stamp set with the coordinating die and the dies cut everything out including the sentiments and then you've also got the coordinating stencils to add some color to those lemons. So when life gives you lemons what do you make? Cards! <laughs> right! Cards are lemonade cards. So let's go ahead and make some cards here. Now this pattern background here has four layers to it, we are only going to use the fourth layer of the stencil. So the fourth stencil, stencil with number four in it. And I'm going to be using a bunch of browns. I've got some dark chocolate, I've got paper bag, and I've got caramel toffee. And I'm going to use these three different tones of brown in order to just create some varied tones in these leaves. So the reason I'm using stencil number four is as all of these flowy little leaves in the background and I absolutely loved the look at it, of it. So you could use all four stencils together to create a card if you'd like, but for this card I wanted those leaves in the background and to have the actual larger lemons in the front. So I'm just really just mixing all the different colors. I started off with the lighter color, added a bit of it, then the mid-tone color, or what you might consider the mid-tone color because these colors are quite different they're not from one family and then the darkest color so I placed down the stencil once so the right way around and then I turned it 180 degrees actually I think I turned it 90 degrees sorry and then I'm gonna stencil this up again so some of these little leafy fronds are gonna overlap but that's the look I'm going for and what I'm trying to do here is just cover up that background so the background piece of cardstock I've got here is like a light pink pink and um, I wanted to go with like the pink and blue theme and then the brown just kind of fit in along with gold and um, what I'm doing is covering up that background as much as possible now even when I remove this layer I'll notice that there are little spaces that are still empty so I'll just kind of move the stencil around and add little fronds here and there to just fill in those spaces and once my stenciling is done, I can pull that cardstock off of the, um, the stamp wheel, which I find is my favorite tool right now for stenciling. Not just stamping, but stenciling. I love the fact that you can kind of just arrange your, um, your stamps on here like I'm doing with the Zesty Life lemons here. I've arranged them on the panel so that I can have a bit of space between them where I can die cut them. So I don't have to worry about getting ink anywhere else because I will be cutting these out. I'll go ahead and stamp these down with some black pigment ink and then I, I don't even have to remove that cardstock move it around nothing I just can move my stencil put it where I want on the cardstock and then you see it just sticks to the sticky mat there on the edges and I don't have to worry about holding the stencil while I'm adding ink I mean I do out of habit I notice that I still do that but it doesn't really move at all that sticky mat really holds that stencil in place and for that reason, the Alton U stamp wheel is my go-to right now. So you can see that I'm using this uh, group of blue inks. This is the Blue Mountains Fresh Dye Ink uh, family here. I've got Water Hyacinth, Alpine Aster, Crystal Violet, and Indigo Skies. And I'm just kind of, I don't think I added the lightest color, the Water Hyacinth. I just started with Alpine Aster, Crystal Violet, and Indigo Skies. And then I'm just building that color up and I'm adding the color in such a way that I'm keeping the bottom part of the lemons the darkest so I'm assuming that the light's not really catching the bottom of the lemons it's probably coming from the top so I'll keep those whiter areas near the top of the lemons to create a bit of a gradient and this just gives your image a little bit more of a 3d or realistic look 
So once I am done with those guys, I'll go ahead and work on the leaves. So this, this layering stencil set is pretty easy to use. You have like two stencils. Um, one does the lemons, the other one does the leaves, and then there's a tiny little portion on there for the little flower on that smaller bunch of lemons. Now for the vines here, or the leaves, I'm using the other fresh dye ink set which came out with the Blue Mountain set. This family is called Woodland Escape. And I love the brown and the deep mahogany tones and um, the darker two uh, ink pads of this family. It is just gorgeous. And it, it really, it contrasts with the browns that we have in the background on that pink uh, panel that we just did um, in the beginning here. So I'm not using the pink and the dusty rose, which are the two lighter colors in this family. I'm using the two darker colors, which is the toasted mauve and the redwood. And they are just, they're, they're such rich colors. I just love how they come out. So as I mentioned, there is that one little stencil piece there. Well, that little bit there on the, the first stencil that does that little flower. I'm just going to get some rose quartz and just lightly add that in there so that it kind of goes with the, the pink in our background. And those lemons are pretty much good to go. I can take this off. Now I want to die cut these, but before I do, I want to get my sentiment stamped out because I have a bit of space on this panel and I'm going to use the live your life in zest. I think that's what it says. I'm going to use that uh, stamp there and I'm just going to do some heat embossing with it. I'll use some Alta New rose gold embossing powder, which is my absolute favorite, sorry, favorite. You'll notice that my bottle is Sorry, my little container is getting empty there. I got to get another one, but it's, um, I love, it doesn't really look rose gold to me, but I like the tone of it because it's like a softer gold. So I'll just go ahead and melt that embossing powder to the paper. And fun little fact, uh, this here, melting embossing powder is the whole reason why I got into card making. It's just the funnest thing to see that embossing powder melt. And I know the rest of you pretty much agree that it's one of the coolest things you'll see. Um, just one, because there's so many different cool things involved in crafting and card making. So I'm going to line up my dies here. I wanted to, uh, <laughs> to cut them all out, but I noticed that um, the larger die here kind of interferes with the sentiment one. So I went ahead and cut out that smaller bunch of lemons and the sentiment first. And now I'll go ahead and cut out, cut out the second um, bunch of lemons. So those are all my die kit pieces. So now let's put this together. So I normally would cut that panel down to create a bit of a border and show a bit of the white for my card base. But instead, I'm going to use the Fine Frames Rectangle Dies. Um, I, what I do is I cut them out ahead of time and then I keep them there in that little plastic folder so that when I do want to use more of the frames, it's there and ready to go for me. So that's what I did here. I just grabbed one that I had cut out before. I've got this nice gold frame. I'm just going to add to the panel here just to give it a border and a finished look. And then I don't have to cut down my panel. I'll go ahead and... Um, put my lemons on here. So I want the lemon to kind of come in at the corner, but behind the frame just for a bit of fun. And then this is how I'll place everything. So now that I know where everything is going, I can add some foam adhesive to that big bunch of lemons. I'll position it under the frame as I originally had and stick that down. And you'll notice I did put a little bit of liquid adhesive on that top part of the stem. It's totally fine when you have larger die cuts to do this, especially where it's coming off the end. I don't want it to hang off and get caught on anything. Because the die is, sorry, the die cut is so large, um, I can add foam to one end and liquid glue to the other, and you're not going to notice the difference in um, height on the card. It's not a big deal. And also the foam, um, the foam circles here that I'm adding are very, they're thin. They're not that thick, so it's really unnoticeable. So I've gone ahead and I've kind of tucked in the stem of that bottom lemon there and added that. And now I'm just adding the sentiment as well, again, with the foam circles. Now I'll just add some adhesive to that panel very carefully since the die cuts on here have dimension. And then I'll attach it to my card base. So now all I have left to do is to add some of these fun enamel dots, which they just came out with. 
Um, it's called fruity citrus i love the color pat this the color palette in these it's just got some nice fun bright colors i figured these like pinky coral enamel dots match the best they contrast a little with the pink in the background and it goes with the color scheme now i added a little one there on the lemon but it looked a little odd so i went and uh, removed it and put it in the background and that card is almost complete I have one more step here, which is some um, stickles. I think this is uh, icicle. Icicle, it just shines in a bunch of different colors, which is why I like this one. And all I'm doing is just adding some shine to the branch, to the leaves, and then I'll also add it to um, the lemons and more so in the lighter area of the lemons where I imagine that light would be hitting the lemons so it would cause it to glisten a little. And I, I love just adding a little extra sparkle like this, especially because I added enamel dots, which just have more of a gloss. I can never get enough shine. <laughs> so that is my card. I hope that um, this card has inspired you today. And don't forget to check out all of the products as part of the release. There's a link in the description below. If you get lost along the way, you can always go back to the um, to the Alta New um sorry, to the Alta New YouTube channel to find the list of designers. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. I will be back for the monthly, sorry, the Marvelous Monthly series. So I'll see you guys then. Have a great day and don't forget to comment and good luck. Bye.